Okay, this is the con artist. Uh, introduce yourself and what do you do? I'm Stevie OC and I am the editor of HopscotchFriday.com, which is a pop culture blog um, where we just fill it with stuff that we like, really. <laughs> now, how long have you been doing Hopscotch Friday? Um, it's actually coming up to a year. But we um, transitioned over to a new design, which is all very pretty and sparkly and shiny and new, uh, about a month and a half ago. So, um, how many cons have you been to? Too many <laughs> to list, I think, is the answer there. And how many have you been going under the official capacity of Hopscotch Friday? Um, this is the first. Yeah? Yes, because um, previously we were under the Momus Report um, and for Beauty and the Geek, which uh, my lovely husband Emmett did and had a lot to do with Australian comics. So given that these comic cons are partly about uh, the celebrity guests and the cosplay, they're also about Australian comics. Now, have you, um, have you found it easy or difficult getting uh, your name out there amongst the, the Comic Con culture? Well, it's kind of a funny thing in terms of getting it more professionally out there. Professionally, I make no money from my blog. Um, <laughs> I don't make any money either. Please employ us. Exactly, please do. <laughs> Look how pretty we are. Well, she's pretty. Well, I don't know. You're pretty good yourself. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now keep going. Where's Emmett? He's gone. No, he's not, he's, here, at he's not here at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We interviewed him uh, last con, so. You did, and I understand he's a little concerned about what he may have said. <laughs> he should be. Um, so yeah, how's it, how's it been professionally getting the name out? It's actually really good because I think, particularly in the Australian comic scene, it's very small. So um, forming those relationships is pretty good, and once you get your name out there, they recognise your face, you keep coming back. They appreciate that, I now, think. Now. Um, now this is the third Oz Comic Con. Have you, have you been to all three? No, I missed the first one. Yeah. Yeah, which I understand was not necessarily a bad thing because it was overrun with Stan Lee fans. Yes, it was. And a little bit of Patrick Stewart fans as well. Oh. Quite a few. Um, how, have you, how have you found the running of this con compared to other ones? I really like... I particularly like this venue. Yes. And I think it really plays into the kind of community feel. Um, whereas I think some other ones are a little bit bigger and it's kind of more spread out and you have to go to different places to find what you're looking for. Whereas yeah. here, everything's kind of all crushed together. And it's, it's good having the, you know, it's, it's an old building. It's good having a bit of character in the building so it's not just an empty barn. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, I think I like that. Now, one thing I found yesterday was it, it, it was just very. Everyone seemed to be going through the motions. It seems for people just walking around, not really getting in. Th people get. <laughs> See, the orange didn't really work this time. I should I should blend in this. Just no, I won't do that. Um, one thing I've noticed uh, is yesterday everyone seemed to be going through the motions. Mm -hmm. Everyone was just uh, sort of like getting the photos taken, buying a certain thing, and no real life to it. But today there seems to be a bit more energy. It's, um, do you seems that seems to be some sort of life in a in a con how it's run? Um, I think so. I mean, I know on the Saturday for me is usually get stuff done for me because obviously I'm here taking photos and filming stuff and doing this business. Um, so the Sunday is really come back and talk to people and buy day. Yeah. So I've made my shopping list and now I need to go around and break the bank. <laughs> um, and how has the uh, the Australian comic scene been presented represented here at uh, this festival or this con? It's quite good. They're um, over at the back. There's a whole line of them, um, which is really good, and they just kind of keep plugging their stuff. And the thing is, if you are coming to an event like this, I would really encourage you to go and talk to them because they've got some really great creative stories. There's some amazing talent in this country, and I don't think that we focus enough on them. Um, and I think, you know, like us, they don't make any money out of it. So they're doing it for the passion and the fun of it. And if you can't, you know, enjoy your hobbies in that way, then what, what's the point? Now, is there anyone you've been exactly uh, any, anyone that you're getting a bit uh, geeking out about at this? Any of the guests that you've been pretty excited about? Do you know what? I really, 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 really wish I'd gone to see Arthur Darvel because I love Rory because he waited, <laughs> and that makes me the biggest geek girl in the world. I that's think a, that's okay. He, he was very cool. He was very, very polite and very nice and very charming. So did you meet him? I, I met him for about like 30 seconds. So we haven't got an interview yet, but I got the photo and the autograph, and he was very. I just went, good day, and he went, hello. So awesome. But the photographer said we look like twins. Oh really? So yeah. I was tempted to go and make out with him then, but he kinda of backed away. So that and might be a bit weird. Weirdly awesome. <laughs> so um, so what are some of the things you need to purchase? Um, well I really want to get Nicholas Scott's uh, is it Earth 2 Batman statue? But only if she'll sign it for me. 
I think she might. <laughs> um, I don't know, to be honest. My list kind of keeps growing, so I really now need to narrow it down and figure out what exactly I can afford. So, um, who can, uh, how do we get in touch with you and how do we keep in touch with uh, Hopscotch Fridays? Well, my mobile number is <laughs> not available. Um, <laughs> and they go, really? Oh my gosh. No, I'm not that desperate. <laughs> um, I don't think my husband would appreciate it. I am at hopscotchfriday.com and on Twitter at M-I-S underscore O-C, so it's Mrs. O-C, and we are on Facebook as well, but because they put a bunch of numbers in that, I don't know what it is, but look for Hopscotch Friday on Facebook, and yeah, give us all your love. Keep in touch. Share the love. Hopscotch Friday. Thank you, Stevie.